The black mamba is probably the most feared snake in the world. People often claim that black mambas are aggressive, angry and they chase people. Popular stories about someone who was chased by a black mamba circulate in a society of many African countries with no evidence provided. We are two zoologists with more than 10 years of experience with wild deadly venomous snakes on all continents and we would like to show you how we see black mambas. We think that this is one of the most dangerous snake species in the world for handling and it definitely needs respect. However, black mambas are not aggressive, meaning they will not attack you without any reason and they will definitely not chase you. They are shy and avoid people at any cost. But if they feel cornered or threatened, they will often stand their ground, flatten their neck, open their mouths and even strike. If you scare a black mamba, you should understand that the snake wants to defend itself. Let's see what happens when we take out a wild black mamba so we can film it. So first of all, we will just uh, let the snake go out and uh, I will use the technique called raking. So I'll be working with the snake with a hook for a while. So the snake uh, gets a uh, little bit more calm and a little bit more tired and then it's gonna be filmable, let's say. As you can see, the mamba wants to stay hidden in the bag. So um, black mambas have a very bad reputation. People think that they chase people, that they will attack people, but it's not really true. Mambas are very shy snakes and you can see this snake just doesn't want to go out of the bag, it just wants to stay hidden. Okay, there it goes. Notice that I'm not jumping around the snake and I'm not standing in front of it. I want the animal to realize that I don't intend to harm it. The mamba simply wants to slither into dense vegetation. So again, you see the snake is out of the bag, it's fast, but it's not trying to bite me, it just tries to slither away. It's spreading the neck a little bit, but not too much, it's not very defensive. And uh, if you let the snake have its own space, it's not going to chase you, it's not going to try to bite you. So, uh, like this, we can work with deadly venomous snakes and get a very nice footage because uh, the snake doesn't feel, you know, cornered and it's not trying to bite. So, um, after a while of uh, working with the snake, then uh, I can get my camera and start to get some footage. It's nice cloudy weather, which is great. Because if the mamba is on the sun, it's gonna be warm very quickly and uh, then it will be more difficult to work with it. It's also not good to keep the snake on the sun for too long. So um, we usually try to choose a nice cloudy weather for filming. You can argue that if it was sunny, the snake would behave differently. We agree that the snake would be faster, more nervous and also uncomfortable after some time in the direct sun. It can overheat and that is stressful for the animal. However, it would still try to flee and only defend itself after we would force it to stay where it does not want to stay. That is not being aggressive. Mm -hmm. Welfare of the snakes we film is very important for us. We want to film natural behavior not stress the animal unnecessarily in order to get more drama and more views.
calm handler equals a calm snake. Remember that. If someone wants to show you the black mamba as a super fast and angry snake, he or she can achieve that by behaving in a certain way and choosing a certain place and weather to work with the snake. So today we are going to take out a smaller one, which still has, I think, about two meters. So um, it's going to be a little bit smaller than uh, the one from yesterday, which was two meters, 35 centimeters, I think. So, you know, even a smallish black mamba is still a snake with a nice size. So, uh, let's go to see what's gonna happen. This one seems like it might be more uh, defensive. It's spreading its hood already. Okay. I think you can go to check. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Good and good, yeah. But otherwise, again, I think it's gonna be as usual. So uh, the snake will come out. It will have burst of energy at the beginning. I will do a little bit of raking and then hopefully it will be more easy to work with it. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, as you can see, it's a fast snake. There's a lot of grass here. That's the that's the only problem for raking. So I have a little bit of trouble to yes. do it precisely. But otherwise, the snake is just slithering, and uh, it will slowly get more tired and calm. Again, as you saw, the mamba was very fast, but only tried to escape from me. I did not jump around it in order to scare it and threaten it. But she's still quite long. Yeah, I was saying, it's about two meters. Mm -hmm. Seems like the mamba is calming down now. It's already moving slower. We always try to move slowly so the snake gets used to us and feels less stressed. Maybe you argue that this mamba is very small. Let's now see a black mamba, which is almost three meters long. So the beginning might be quite full of action. Let's see. I think she might come out by herself. Yes. Why do you want to go closer to me? Mm -hmm. Okay. And she is quite heavy. Okay. She is much heavier than other mambas with which we were working. So, of course, a snake like this, almost three meters long, moving fast. But 
in an open space like this, it's still quite doable. And again, as with all mambas, you can see she's not turning back to me. She just wants to slither. She just slithers. She sees that there is dense bush. So she goes that way. And I'm just slowly taking her back. And you can see, even if I touch her tail, it looks like she's not turning back to me. I constantly watch the snake's behavior when I'm lifting it. In any sign of discomfort for the snake, I will put it back on the ground. Hmm, it's a huge snake, yeah. Let's see if she's going to be slowly a little bit slower, but yeah, she's see, still quite she still has energy, yeah. Hello. Don't forget that this is one of the most venomous and dangerous snakes in the world. Never approach snakes if you are not an expert and keep your distance from them. Not so bad. Not so heavy? Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, she is heavy, but you can manage. Oh, she's holding me. <laughs> Hello. She's beautiful. We work with deadly venomous snakes for years, and our goal is to film amazing footage of these misunderstood mm -hmm. animals so we can educate people around the world. So, our idea is to take out the drone now and we will try to capture how long this snake is, how mighty it is from above. Let's go try. Yes, I'm ready for that. If the snake is calm, the whole encounter is very enjoyable and we can film the animal from different angles, even from a drone, and bring stunning shots to your computer or mobile screens. The snake just wants to slither into dense bushes behind me. When it comes close, I focus on moving slowly so I don't scare it. Well, there is no drama, even when you are working with the black mamba probably the most feared snake in the world, definitely the most feared snake of Africa. She's always coming to my tripod. <laughs> Yeah, that's interesting. That's funny. We hope that now you see that snakes are very peaceful animals. It is up to you how your encounter with them will be. We really had a chance to observe this snake from a close distance and what we really want to show you is that black mambas are peaceful as 
all other snakes. They will not chase people if you leave them alone. They will not try to bite you. These animals are shy by nature and the only thing they want to do is to live their life, hunt some prey, mate, lay eggs, same as other animals. So we hope that uh, watching our video helped you to understand this snake and snakes in general better and maybe your fear of snakes is now not so big maybe it even disappeared Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Or if you want to support us more, you can even become a member of our YouTube channel. You can also buy our merchandise. Uh, link to our store is under the video in the description. Thank you.